What is cultural diversity? That's a good question. There are many academic definitions and I'm not going to attempt any of them. However, I think cultural diversity is just accepting the differences of human nature, be it from a religious point of view, a sexual point of view, a mental point of view, ethnic point of view. So cultural diversity has many definitions and I think simply said it is the span and the breadth of human nature. So as a doctor, that's a very interesting question, given that we do see a lot of different patients who present to us, and not all of them are exactly the same. There's no one size fits all. In terms of languages, sometimes you might have to talk to people in their local dialect. Other people have different beliefs in terms of privacy, and especially different examinations. They might want a male doctor, a female doctor. So it's important to be cognizant of this so that you can respect your patient's cultural um, beliefs so that also they can understand that you're coming to them at the same level and you're ready to help them. Uh, it is very important uh, for the healthcare professionals to understand the uh, different cultural perspectives of uh, different kind of patients that they are handling or they are pursuing or they are giving care because if they don't know then they won't be able to deliver proper care to those patients so then there can be a barrier in provision of care especially if they don't understand their language and their cultural practices. It is important to understand people's languages and culture in healthcare because different cultures view health differently. For example, you'll find a group of persons that even if they are sick, they can't seek professional medical help, but uh, with encouragement and being open with them and creating a safe space for them, you'll find them seeking professional help which will lead to better health. So culture basically shapes the mental health of an individual. It begins with how a person uh, cope with day-to-day -day activities, then uh, the delay that people have in seeking help, um, maybe the delay is very severe, and then uh, there are some people, some cultures, they might not acknowledge uh, emotional symptoms along with their somatic symptoms. And then we have people who do not seek help even when it is needed. And uh, it, it might also come into factor that uh, some people are not able to describe or the way that different cultures describe their um, symptoms in mental health, it might differ. Culture influences mental health in the sense that it's a determinant of whether one will be able to access healthcare services related to mental health issues and it's equally a determinant of stigma. In a society where people are stigmatized or stereotyped because of their mental health condition, there's a very high likelihood that they'll not be able to seek mental health services. 